Hi guys. Uh, this morning's video is going to be on blind grip holders. Uh, most of you will know the know this as uh, just uh, glicos. Uh, the glicos are basically they're used to hold uh, two uh, sheet metal panels or auto body panels together uh, while you're welding it. Uh, it keeps the the panels firmly together and aligned as you weld. And these particular glicos are an eighth of an inch uh, in size, and uh, and they hold they hold around these right here hold around 20 pounds per glico. Uh, I, I use these right here, in fact, to put uh, my floor pans uh, on, and also a patch panel that I made on the wheelhouse. Um, also. Uh, I'll, uh, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to demonstrate just a simple little, just short little video, and demonstrate how you use these glicos. This is the this is the glico pl pliers, and you just simply they're inserted like that. I'm sorry, you got to catch that bottom end, and as you're pushing. These two little prongs here come out, and when you're releasing it, it catches the metal and holds those two two panels together. So let me demonstrate on a little small sheet piece of sheet metal, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, this is the wheelhouse here that I made the patch panel, and it's below. This, this area in here is the, the panel that I made. This is, oh, by the way, this is a 68 Charger, 1968 Dodge Charger. Uh, this was all wasted in here and I had to put me a, some new metal in here. And what I did, instead of using these vice grips, these, these grips are they're fine but they're, they're bulky. And they really, if any movement, it, it'll shift the metal. So. These, these Glicos are come in real handy. You, you take a, a eighth of an inch drill bit and drill through both both panels and you simply insert insert these in there and it holds it real tight, real firm. And depending on how long it is or how, what the weight of the metal uh, body panel is uh, will determine really how far apart you want to place these. Um, they do hold, have a 20 pound uh, holding capacity per per each Glico. But I think I, you can space them out maybe anywhere six six to ten inches or less, depending on you know uh, what panel you're working on. You just simply you dr you drill the hole there, and this just simply goes in there. You use those pliers, and it holds it together real firm. It's real solid. It's all aligned, and you can, and it really gives you a chance to really make a good, a good uh, welding job. And uh, so, but I'll show you on a on a piece of uh, sheet metal over there, a small demonstration of what I'm talking about. Okay, all right, guys. I'm going to show you just a small demonstration here on how to use it. These are two separate panels here. I've got them locked in this vice grip right here. Just going to simply, if I'm not mistaken, I think these come in a couple of different, maybe three different sizes, I believe. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but I believe there is a couple of sizes, different sizes you can get these in. Uh, when you're doing auto body repair, the 20 pounds will be fine. That, that'll be just fine. Uh, let me take these gloves off. Get a, let's see. Take this eighth of an inch drill bit here. And put this bit in here in the drill. Like I said, these are, I bought these from the Eastwood Company, is where I bought these Glicos at. I cannot remember the price of them. This was years ago that I bought them. I bought them in a kit of 30. 
Here's the side uh, clamps here too. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a minute. But if you were uh, going to overlap, you're going to have an overlap of two panels. Uh, let's say that this was, uh, let's say this is the quarter panel, the bottom here, and you're going you're gonna to fasten it up here to the top. You just simply, maybe I can drill it through here. Once you got the hole there, take your Glico, and I hope you can see how that works. Push all the way in on it, let it go, and it's there. That panel will not move. And like I said, it depends on you'll get the you'll once you use these, uh, uh, you know. You'll find out later on how many you need, how far, how far apart you need to space them. Uh, but they do hold 20 pounds uh, per Glico, and so I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think I, I spaced mine. It's like every six inches or every 10 inches. Uh, some panels that I made was maybe a little bit maybe every five inches. Uh, so that's it. Let's see. Let me. I'll show you the the back side of it and show you what what's going on with that. All right. That, this is the back side of it. And it just gives. I'm trying to give you. Maybe you can see that how it grips that metal. Grips the two panels. And obviously, when you're wanting to, once you've done your welding. Let's see, I hope I can get get this. Okay. And once you're once you're through doing your welding, just pull it all the way back. And you can see how it, how it's now straight and it'll pull right out of that right out of that hole. Maybe okay. Uh, one more thing, I think that the, the, uh, with the 30 piece kit, I think I got four of these little side uh, holding glucose here, and you can adjust the tension on that. There's a Phillips head a screw there that you can adjust the, the tension of this. Um, but they just simply work, work similar, you know. So you, you know you're going to need to hold two panels together there. And they work basically the same. Uh, I don't think I ever used them. Uh, but you get the idea of it. And I think, I think, I think I got four of them with that. Just cannot, I can't remember. It's been a while back. get the idea. Uh, like I said, I got these from the Eastwood company. Um, maybe 10 years ago, seven or 10 years ago, and I used them to put in my floor floor pans, and I'm going to use them also to put on my quarter panels. I'm going to do a video of that when I, when I start putting my quarter panels on my 68 charger. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be using these as well. So that's it. For the Glicos, it's pretty simple to use. They come in real, they're real handy. Um, if you like the tape, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I should have some, I should be having another tape coming out soon on my 68 charger, putting in some uh, trunk pans. Until next time, I'm James Frampton.